Hello, and welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. And today, let's talk about a subject that is, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be an episode where uh, we're going to talk about the seasons. So yeah, super exciting. Let's dive in. So as we're, as I'm recording this, it uh, depends obviously when you're going to be listening to this in the future, but as of this recording, this is uh, going to be, we're getting ready to go into the month of March. And I currently live in Indianapolis, Indiana. And so spring is like the season. I'm so excited. The time change is about ready to happen. Whether or not you agree with the time change situation or not, doesn't matter. The point is, is that I just look forward to this time of year for myself because this morning even, right? The sun, I, I stepped outside and the sun just felt different, right? It felt warm. Uh, the air was a little cool, but it just, it felt really nice. Uh, the birds were out chirping and singing and the grass is beginning to turn uh, green again. I was on a walk yesterday and the buds I could see up in the trees, uh, some of the, the blooms and the buds on the trees were beginning to show themselves. That to me is an, exi is an exciting time. I so look forward to the spring and the summertime that uh, for it to be here, I'm super excited. So what I want to do with this episode is I want to talk about how life is like the seasons. Uh, I've shared many times, Jim Rohn has been a big, big uh, person that has really fed into my life and has allowed me to become the person that I am today. And one thing that he uh, taught in his teachings was that life is like the seasons. And today I want to talk about that as well. So as I mentioned, in real life today, we're experiencing, uh, we're about ready to experience the season of spring, which obviously means we just left or are becoming beginning to leave the, the season of winter. And life is just like the seasons. And I just want to give you like an example of that and how that is portrayed into my own life and uh, maybe help you think through kind of where you are uh, right now in your journey and to maybe give you a little bit of uh, uh, maybe a little bit of relief thinking that the go, 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 do, do, do uh, those mindsets and those beliefs I believe that in the right times are the right attitudes and the right beliefs to have. So let me back up a little bit. In my past, I've been brought up to believe that the only way to succeed was to just nose down, head down, nose the grindstone, go, 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 do, do, do. No matter what, it's like you're just helter skelter. Just keep working, keep doing and eventually you're going to reach this pinnacle of success that you're looking for. And one thing that I've discovered as I've gotten older and as I've, I feel like I've gotten a little bit more wise in my years is that, as I mentioned, life is like the seasons. There is times to push. There are times to grow and push yourself and grind and really work through some challenges, some things that are going on in your life. But then there are also times to rest and to give yourself some some grace, some some flexibility in your life. And then there's also some times of just kind of working through the mundane part of life. Uh, I used to share this uh, with my kids a lot growing up. Life, right, is like a roller coaster. It has ups and it has downs. And it's going to have everything in between. And you've got to be, be prepared for all of it. And that's kind of how I see this whole thought of that life is like the seasons as well. So let me give you a little bit of an example of how I've taken this, this philosophy of treating life like seasons and how I've uh, been able to use it in my life instead of always feeling like I needed to go, 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 do, 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 right? Just the nonstop ever, never ending grind of life that is not enjoyable. It wasn't enjoyable for me. There are times that when I was doing that and accomplishing certain things that of, of course it felt pretty good to do those things. But at the same time, I was never feeling accomplished. I never felt like I was getting and becoming the person, achieving the results, achieving the success that I was looking for. And so then when I began to slow down and realize that there were times to push, there were times to be persistent and consistent. And then there were times to just pull back and take a rest. That's when certain things uh, began to show up differently for me. And it was a great, great experience. And that's what I want to share with you today. So at the end of, and we're going to go back a couple of years. Uh, so through 2020 and through the pandemic, uh, Amazon e-commerce was my 
business of choice. I, and it was a grind. We were working a lot. We were working very hard. Uh, me and, and the team that we had set up here, uh, we were working out of the house. And so it was every day waking up, going to work and doing, doing, doing the process that it took to generate sales and generate profits within the Amazon uh, e-commerce space. So let me just say this. If anybody tells you that making money on Amazon is easy and all you have to do is hand over, hand over some money and they will set up this, that, and the other. And uh, in a few years or a few months, I should say, uh, you're going to just instantly start receiving payments because of all the things that they've done in the background. If people are presenting those ideas and those uh, opportunities to you, in my experience, they aren't true. And this, I know this is a little bit of a side tangent, but just know that Amazon, it's a very, uh, it can be a very uh, profitable business, but if you do it a certain way, that's not the topic of this subject today. I just wanted to throw that in there that I've been approached by many people when I tell them that Amazon was my uh, uh, area of business. And they're like, well, I've been approached by X, Y, Z. And I've already given you the example, but if anybody's telling you that Amazon is easy and all you have to do is give me thousands of dollars and I will set it up and you'll make money instantly. That's, that's not true. That's not true. But let's go back to what I was sharing. I apologize for the tangent there. Uh, super passionate about that subject. And maybe that's something I'll dive into uh, going into the future. But uh, life is like the season. So we were grinding. We were working very hard in that Amazon e-commerce business. And what happened was, is coming out of the pandemic, the, as you can remember, the supply chains and just all the mess that was going on. I was dependent on other vendors and other things to supply the products that I needed to keep my store operational. And that grind of, and the stress of going through that, I, I reached a point where it was not worth it anymore. And so what happened is that my wife and I, we made the decision. We decided we were going to pivot. I love the word pivot. Uh, if you haven't word used or heard me say that word before, you're going to hear it a lot. Uh, we didn't necessarily, we did shut the store down, meaning we stopped uh, using Amazon at that point uh, for the business. But at the same time, I don't look at it as, as a failure. It wasn't a failure. I just made the different decision to pivot, to move into what her big dream was, was to become an event manager or, or event coordinator. Uh, weddings is her specialty. Uh, we went down the, started to go down the road of potentially uh, purchasing our own uh, our own venue, which then she would be the one doing the operations. And then obviously I would be the one supporting her. So we made the decision. We were going to go down that road. This, and that decision was probably late 21 going into 2022. So with that decision relieved a lot of the stress of the push and the go, go, go do, do, do of that Amazon life that I had. And when I did that, when I made that decision that we were going to pivot into uh, a different uh, avenue, right, for business, it opened up different opportunities for me that I would not have seen. That's that's the key that I want to hear, that I want you to hear, hear me say today. I would not have seen different opportunities in my environment. They had been around me all of the time, but I wasn't seeing them because I was too stuck thinking that I'm believing that I needed to just keep pushing harder keep going for more sales, keep all of the stuff that was out of my control with the supply chains and just all of the, the stuff. I was not in control. And because of that, my mind wasn't in control and I wasn't seeing the opportunities as they arose. So towards the end of 22, I just made the decision that I was going to allow myself the space in the year of 2023 to see what I needed to do right? What I, what was the next thing I was going to open up my awareness of opportunities. I was going to see opportunities as they came into my existence. And then I was going to be able to put myself in a position, whether or not to take those opportunities or pass on them, because that's the thing too. I've seen so you have a choice. You can pass on them. Now, the takeaway that I want you to get from this story is that if I had stayed in that grind of the do, do, and to just keep pushing and pushing and pushing, I would not have been able to be in a position where I am today to be able to take on different opportunities, to be able to try on different things, to be able to test uh, launching a podcast as I did in the year 2023. It's not that I stopped doing things completely because in the season of what I would call winter for me was I was just being patient. I was just kind of sitting there. So it's like the tree 
uh, think about that or the, even the, the, the flowers in the spring, right? They're in, they're still there. They're still in the ground. They're just waiting. They're just waiting for the right opportunity to show itself, which is that spring season to then begin to, be, to begin to bud and to bloom, right? And that's kind of where I see myself today. I spent most of the, of the year of 2023 kind of sitting there just waiting, just being patient. Who do I need to become? I'm always working on myself. What do I need to become? What information do I need to consume? Who do I need to get into contact with? What groups do I need to be involved with? I started allowing myself and asking myself those questions over and over and over. And as I did that, more things began to come into my awareness. As I mentioned, the, the launch of this podcast was part of that process. Because of the podcast, I've met more people, different people from different walks of life, different opportunities have, have been uh, approached and brought to me because of the podcast. But I wouldn't be in this position had I not allowed myself that grace of just being in this winter season of just being patient for a little bit and not feeling like I needed to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. So maybe that's uh, where you are now. I know obviously physically in our in our 3D world, as of this recording, we're currently going getting ready to go into the spring season. But maybe in your life, you need to put yourself on a little bit of a pause, a little bit of a pause, pull back a little bit from the grind of the doing. And it's not, I understand we've got responsibilities, bills to pay. You know, I still have all of those things to do. So there are certain things that we need to do to make sure that we keep our life moving. But at the same time, change the mindset, change the internal dialogue. Change the belief that you need to keep pushing and pushing and pushing when you might be just pushing up against the wrong opportunity. And the right opportunity is right there in front of you or right beside you, but you can't see it because you've got the blinders on. So take the blinders off, give yourself a little bit of time and think and allow yourself to just believe and envision this different future that is right there in front of you. But as I mentioned, with the blinders on, you're never going to see it. So hopefully you found that message valuable. Uh, as I mentioned, we're getting ready to enter the season of spring. There are so many things going on out there in our in our 3D world right now, right? Uh, the leaves are changing or the trees and the flowers and the birds are coming back. And the, my grass is getting ready to grow, right? Which means I'm going to have to figure out how to get that cut. I mean, there's so many things uh, going on that we are exactly living those same experiences. And it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be difficult. And when you realize that it, just pulling back a little bit can release you to give yourself almost permission to see things in a different light. I promise you that through my experience, this has been my experience, that as I've allowed myself to do that, more and more comes into my awareness, comes into my existence, which then I'm allowed and able to then take advantage of those things. And I wish that for you as well. So go out there, have a fantastic day, focus on being great, give yourself a little bit of a break, give yourself some permission to just step back, pause a little bit and see what's really going on in your environment and going on in your awareness. And I promise you that you will find some great things going on that you will be able to take advantage of and who knows where they're going to lead to. And I hope that for you today. So go out there, as I mentioned, have a fantastic day. Focus on being great. I look forward to bringing back the next message to you again very soon. Until then, bye now.